if you can hear, I am doing laundry. I'm like washing our sheets. Um, oh, the Mr. Bear's coming along. I am nine weeks now. Um, and I still don't have really like any um, symptoms, which is awesome. Oh, Mr. Bear wants to say hi. He wants to say hi. He needs a haircut so bad. Ooh, the lighting. Um, yeah, not really much to check in about. I've just been, like this past week, I've just been exhausted because I cannot, I wake up. When did I wake up? Last night I woke up at like 1.15, which was early for me. Woke up and uh, couldn't really fall back asleep for a little bit. And Connor has developed this wonderful habit of grinding his teeth when he sleeps. And it's, it. It's disgusting. A couple nights ago, I had to go into the guest bedroom to sleep because I just couldn't do it. Because he was grinding his teeth. It was, it was making me sick. It was so freaking gross. And then Ollie likes to take up my half of the bed. So I couldn't sleep in the bed. Connor was like in the middle of the bed. I had about this much of room and I, so annoying. And then Hoppo was crying downstairs. That was a couple days ago. So, this past week, I've been waking up at like 2.45 to 3.30 in the morning, and then I'm like, I cannot fall back asleep, and it's so annoying, and then like, as I'm sitting, laying there, trying to fall back asleep, I'm getting hungry, and, and I'm not eating, which I probably should be eating, to like, settle my stomach, and like, not keep me awake even more, because I'm freaking hungry, but I'm just like, I just want to go back to bed. Um, and it's been like that basically all week. Last last night wasn't too bad. Last night I woke up at like 1.15 and I don't think that I, I don't think that it took me very long to fall back asleep. Um, now that I'm talking about like how much sleep I got, now I feel like I'm getting more tired. <laughs> but I don't feel like I'm dragging ass today, which is great um, because like the past, week I've just been awful um and I really need to go back to the gym but like I just have had zero energy like yesterday I took a nap after work and I just and like last night I went up to bed at like 8 30 and I went I felt I scrolled a little bit on TikTok and then I went to I put my phone on at like 9 15 so like tired <laughs> I'm so tired that's literally the only thing um I'm trying to eat better too because like We've just been eating like crap lately. Um, so I like it. I just had a banana for break. Well, for my second breakfast. I tend to eat like two breakfasts. <laughs> like I have one like kind of like when I first wake up, like around 6 30, 7 o'clock. Um, because like when I wake up, I'm like starving. And then sometimes that like it it's hard for like I'm so hungry that like my my body doesn't want to intake food. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, um, it's 9 o'clock and I just had that banana a couple minutes ago. And then, tend to have, like, lunch around, like, 11. I eat almost, like, every two hours, which is supposed to help with nausea. Um, I just do it because I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> I don't do it intentionally. But, like, I also don't want to, like, have a lot of big meals until, like, dinner. And that's where, like, last night... I saw this girl on TikTok and she like does these mukbangs and she went to McDonald's and she got a um, like chicken with mac sauce and I've been thinking about it for like four days. So yesterday I had a headache. It was a really bad one. Um, it was like an all day headache and I was just like, I just want like greasy food because sometimes greasy food just like makes you feel better. Um, so I asked to get that. So I got that and then like a four piece and then I had some fries and I was disgustingly full. Cause like that's more food than I usually eat in one of my meals. Like I, I tend to have smaller meals throughout the day. So like whew, last night I was just like, oh, I feel like a glutton piece of crap. So yeah. Um, I, my OB doesn't do deliveries anymore. So she referred me to this, um, to this other woman. So I was going to try and call, it's Thursday today. I was gonna try and call on Monday, but Monday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. 
Um, so I didn't. Tuesday, I forgot. So yesterday, I called the office and it like rerouted me to like an answering system, if that's what you want to call it. But like it was a live person. Let me you, Bear. Um, so I get a hold of the person and I kind of explain to her like I'm nine weeks pregnant. Um, but my OB doesn't do deliveries anymore and she referred me to you guys so I'm just wanting to make an appointment and she's like okay well, we're gonna have to call the office um so you're just gonna want to hang up and call again and I'm like okay well like um well I was like wait a minute like is there a different phone number she's like no 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 it's the same phone number so you're gonna have to call or like hang up call again and I'm like okay well like how am I supposed to get a hold of the office because there's like no um prompt to like press one for office press two for blah 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 like it just automatically goes to them and she's like yeah it probably just like went straight to us because they were busy and I'm just like this doesn't fucking make sense like that does not make sense so you're telling me that that doctor's office only has one fucking line so when they're busy it auto directs to you guys but you can't make appointments or do anything like that like isn't that the whole fucking point of the system like that's what I'm thinking so I'm just like oh okay so I was really annoyed with that so I was like fuck this shit like I'm just gonna go online make an appointment I made it for like I made it for February 25th so at that point I will be um and like I'll be into my second trimester I'll be like 14 14 I think 14 weeks so I'll be into my second trimester and I think that's a good amount like I don't know like I look I, I have no freaking idea and it's just so frustrating like this dumb bitch she was just like oh you're just gonna have to call and hang up like hang up and call again I'm like and get, get directed to you again like th this is this is the only fucking option like, I was so fucking irritated, but, like, I want to go to this OB because she has phenomenal reviews, and I, that's just, it's just who I want to go with, um, because my friend Christina, like, suggests, and I guess it's kind of, like, dealing with the same shit, my, my friend Christina, who gave birth last May, um, she was just like oh you should go to my ob like they were great blah, blah blah so i was like okay like i looked it up and the reviews were awful and it was about the front desk and i'm like hmm this is kind of similar but um she also gave birth in a different hospital i want to give birth to um i want to give birth to a different hospital that's kind of closer to connor's work like hypothetically if i go into labor and i have to like drive myself to work um or drive myself to the hospital i I would go there um so that's my plan I wanted to go to that hospital so I couldn't have gone to my friends OB anyways so yeah that was that was fun I was really fucking annoyed <laughs> as you can tell by my cursing um which I'm not going to change by the way um so don't even ask um but yeah um I my laundry just went off um but yeah other than that I'm just kind of like chilling very very slow at work still which is fine because it kind of like I could take a nap if I wanted to but like now I feel like energized um and I'm trying to get stuff done like wash the sheets I'm gonna wash the guest bedroom sheets too because there's a hop of hair all over them um but yeah um but yeah I just wanted to check in really quick and tell you guys how I'm doing um I actually am starting to get a little bit of a headache right now, um, so I don't know if that's like a new um, fun little uh, symptom that I got going on, but other than that, I'm doing good. Um, I had more spotting a couple days ago, and it's still kind of like brown, so that means that it's old blood. Um, which I'm assuming that it was because of my ultrasound because it was a vaginal ultrasound. Um, but I'm just shocked that it took so long for it to cause me to spot. Like, my OB said, like, okay, so, you know, when you're pregnant, your cervix doesn't like to be played with or touched. So, if you spot, like, don't be alarmed. But that was on Thursday, and then I started spotting, I think on Monday so I was of course freaking out because I I forgot <laughs> Get your toy. I forgot and um plus it was like three four days after so I was just like 
I feel like it should have happened like a day or two after. So that scared me. I was like, am I having a freaking miscarriage? But I think I'm okay. Um, I'm not, it's not heavy bleeding. I don't have any cramping, nothing like that. Um, just sucks being like a first time mom and like going through this and just like not knowing what's happening. Oh, bless you. God bless you, Mr. Beer. So, yeah. Um, I am reading the new contented little baby book uh, by Gina Ford. It's basically, I'm, I'm on I'm about a third way through, which, yay me, because I hate reading. But this is basically about um, sleep schedules and, like, oh, like breastfeeding and basically it, it's, Tells you like when to feed, put down your baby, and all that stuff for the first couple of weeks. I don't know until when. Um, I'm hoping that I'm able to abide by this. Um, I know it's everyone's dream, basically, to um, breastfeed and get their baby on a sleep schedule. But you know, babies have a mind of their own, which is fine. But um, I'm really hoping to abide by it and hopefully get into a routine quickly. Um, with the guide, it basically says to like have your last like feeding at 10 or 11. That way you only wake up once throughout the night. And that would be at like 2, I want to say. Um, and then you would wake up at 7 for the next feeding. Um, so that's what I'm hoping, honestly... I thrive on no sleep, which is fine. Um, and this is actually how I potty trained Ollie. Like I would wake up in the middle of the night and take him out to use the bathroom. And that's how he was able to be potty trained within like a week. So like, I know it, it'll be a sacrifice, but yeah, I'm just hoping that everything works out fine. My studio lights in there. Oh, what we're getting, well, okay. So we got a notice from our HOA a couple days ago. I think I got it like via email and then I saw that there was like a hard copy in the mail. It's basically because our address light doesn't work and it has literally never worked since we purchased the house in 2019. So like I put in, like I was sitting there like crying to my friend Christina. And I was like, I think that was like my first and my only first and only like meltdown for pregnancy because it's fucking minor like it's a freaking address light um i was like i don't know what i'm gonna do so like i put in a warranty and i don't know if it, i don't know i didn't know if it was going to be covered or not but they're actually sending out an electrician on monday so thank freaking god but we actually got some um fans that we need to get installed um i got three of them right now we're just waiting on the last one and then I have my nail tech her husband is an electrician so like I'd rather just like help out other like if I'm going to pay somebody I'd rather pay somebody that I freaking know um so it kind of like helps them out too um so I'm just like waiting to hear back from her they've been um going sledding or not sledding they've been going skiing snowboarding a lot lately so um other than that Connor we got I don't know if I mentioned this but Connor got a uh, safe so we finally got that, and he's been kind of setting that up throughout the week. He hasn't really done much, though, actually. Um, so we could finally... Oh, hi, Mr. Bear! So we can finally get this room cleared out for the babies. Why I say babies? There's only one in there. Um, because all this needs to be removed so we can get this club cleaned out. I got some diapers and wipes because there was a really good deal on Amazon. So I got those, and then a couple of the onesies, um, which I don't know if I actually want to put the onesies like hanging up or if I want to put them in a dresser, which we would get. But I'm thinking that I'm going to, I don't know, I'm debating whether or not I put the crib here or the crib there, and then the dresser here or the dress, dresser there. I don't know. But I'm thinking about putting the rocking chair or I'm going to get a recliner, a recliner here, um, and maybe you'd like use this little side table for just like whatever, or maybe even over there. I think it might be, I don't know. 
I just, I needed to get all of this crap out of here. Mr. Bear, what you doing? What you doing? So yeah, there's been some changes, but um, like I have the time that I could, come on, let's go up, let's go up. Um, I have the time that I could start putting stuff together, but like I'm actually like notorious for not following directions well. Um, so like if I try and do it, it's going to get messed up. So Connor's just going to have to fix it anyways. And I told him that he's like, yeah, I'd rather you just like start putting stuff together when I'm home. That way, like if you have any questions and honestly, he should just be freaking doing it, but whatever. Um, but yeah, no, I feel like I'm just blabbling at this point. So I have nothing going on, but yeah, this is my nine week update. I need to get back to daily vlogging, even though this is my life. I'm bored. I'm boring. I'm a very boring person. But I'm going to switch over my laundry and... Yeah, I keep looking at my... I'm not looking at the lens. I'm looking at the viewfinder. Because it's so weird. It's still so... It's still so weird to pick up my camera. But... I think I was originally going to post online. Like on social media about my pregnancy on Valentine's Day. But now I think I might wait until my second appointment on the 25th, just to be sure. It's like all of our friends and family know. It's just like posting it on the interwebs. And then when I post it on Instagram, I'm also going to start posting these vlogs. So it's going to be like a bombard of all these videos. So yeah, I think I'm just going to wait. Or maybe I'll just wait until my birthday because my birthday is the 27th. Papa, get out of my room. Hey, ma'am. Ma'am. Okay, I'm gonna go. It was nice chatting with you, and I'll see you next Hi. week. Hi. Um, I am 10 weeks and one day now. Um, and I just moved all of the stuff from the other room, the other room's closet, into here. So, like, I finally have, like, all the baby stuff in here. Um... Part of me wants to start putting some stuff together, but also I suck at directions. Um, Connor finally cleaned out this room for the most part of all of his gun stuff. Um, he just like, has this table that he wants to keep up, I think for now, just to like, clean his guns and stuff, but I don't know. Um, so I want to start getting... Well, Mr. Bear, I want to start getting everything situated and like assembled and stuff. Like, we got our crib right here. Um, I have a bassinet, um, a glider, a high chair, um, a tub thing over there, and then a bunch of random stuff over here, like onesies. I need to find out the gender of this baby so I can figure out like if it's a boy or girl obviously and then to like get a bunch of new like clothes that isn't just like gender neutral because that's like I wanted to make sure like I have something but yeah um down here what do I got I think I got a couple of swaddles but I don't think they're really good quality I just got them because they were on sale um so I got those I got some blankets um I think this is like a like a lounger there's a lot of things that I got on sale um, from like Amazon and everything that I got had good reviews so I got that I got a drying rack I got a bottle warmer which I don't even know if I'll use because I think we're just gonna give bottles at room temperature that way um, the baby doesn't get used to like it needing to be warm because if we're like out and about and it's semi-cold or room temperature then the baby won't eat so I want to get them used to just body temperature or room temperature um I got uh what's it called ow a monitor um and it's just I have really good reviews it's from Amazon but it's not like name brand or anything because I I think people are spending the money on a name but that's just my opinion Got a couple of blankets, um, a couple of toys, washcloths, 
Um, I got some like little utensils, like little spoons, I think some forks right there. Um, what else? Oh, I got like the um, cabinet, like locking, like child, so child proof. I can't think of the words right now. Um, I got this little, you can't see, it's like one of those little play mats. Um, I do have some like sensory block, like a couple of toys, not a lot. I have a ton of books. Um, I got some bibs, but, um, I'm obviously going to get more. I bought two diaper caddies, um, one for downstairs, one for upstairs. I'm debating whether or not to get a cart, um, because I know a lot of people get carts, <clears throat> but I also don't know how practical that is, especially because we have two stories, so it's not like I could just drag it around everywhere. <clears throat> so I think that's where the diaper caddies are just going to come more into play. Um, I have a nose Frida. Um, I have a baby, uh, like the the Medi Frida to give um, medication. Some blankets, passies, socks. Um, yeah, that's really what I have right now. And I got some diapers and like a couple of other toys too. But I felt like I had a lot, and now that I moved it from that closet to this closet, I'm like, wow, I don't have shit. <laughs> Which is fine. I'm still only 10 weeks. Still got 30 more weeks to go. Um, but now I have to, um, like, make a checklist, check off what I have, check off, and, like, see what else I need. Come on, Hoppa. Come on. So, that's going to be the nursery. We're probably not going to paint the walls. We haven't painted the walls literally at all in this house. So it's just going to stay white. And we're probably going to put some artwork up. But I don't know what theme I want to go with at all. Yeah. Still feel fine. I, um... Oh, Mr. Bear. There was a picture that I took a couple days ago. I don't know if it was because I had a big dinner or if, like, I'm actually starting to show. But... I don't know. I have like a really round belly, but I don't really think it's much of anything right now. Let me see here. Um. Yeah, I still feel fine. No nausea or anything, which is awesome. I'll take it. Bear, come on, man. Come on, man. It's because I'm talking, so he like wants the attention. You want to say hi? You want to say, I hurt my foot and I don't know what I did. So, yeah. You can't really see anything going on on my screens. It's nothing important. Um, I work slow again at work. But, yeah, officially 10 weeks. Um, on Monday, I will go to get my blood or my NI, what is it? NIPT test? I don't know. Uh, just a genetic disorder test. Um, make sure everything is good with the baby and then they can do a blood test to see the gender so we'll be finding out soon um i don't know when we'll get be getting the results back my friend christina said that she got her results back in a couple of days i think so hopefully by the end of next week we'll figure out what we're having mr bear we'll find out if we're having a brother or sister he looks terrified <laughs> um yeah. Uh, other than that, I feel great. Um, yesterday, I had a little bit of a rage incident. We, I got McDonald's. I wanted McDonald's for dinner, so we got McDonald's. I got a four-piece and a cheeseburger. And those motherfuckers forgot my barbecue sauce, and I was pissed. Who the, who in the actual fuck besides children eat nuggets without sauce. I was livid. Um, I was so mad. I slant like our coffee table like raises up to you and I had to get napkins because they apparently didn't want to give us napkins either. So I had to get napkins from in there and I was so pissed. I like slammed it down. My sweet tea went knocking on the floor. It fucking spilled everywhere. I was livid. So I had to drive back to McDonald's. McDonald's is only like a four minute drive but still it's the principal. By the time I freaking got back my food was cold and it just wasn't as good uh but 
I was raging. I was so freaking pissed. I was so mad. But that was like the only time I really had like any sort of like rage or just like a change in like my attitude. I was just, I don't know what, tr I don't know what triggered me. Like I was, I was like, are you freaking kidding me? And then like, I just like progressively got madder within like 10 seconds. I think it's because I spilt my sweet tea too. I was like, really, is this really fucking happening to me right now? Like, is, is my life this much of a joke? And I know it's like so minor, but it's like, that's a simple task of your job. You make sure that the order is complete and it wasn't complete. I was so freaking mad. And I know it's like first world problems, but just let me be mad. <laughs> okay. I don't have any like normal, like any like hormone issues other than that. Like whatever. But yeah. Um, I'm still really tired. Like it's weird. Like this morning I woke and I said, I think I said that last week, like, oh, I think it's the last week that I wasn't as tired and I think as soon as I was done recording, I was like, fuck, I'm tired again. So like, <clears throat> I am not waking, I'm still waking up in the middle of the night. That's never not been normal because I always wake up and I pee in the middle of the night, even before I was pregnant. Um, but like a couple weeks ago, I would wake up and stay up for like two hours, but now I'm not really having that issue. So I'm waking up and I'm feeling refreshed, but by the time like I'm done with work rolls around, like I'm just like, I could just take a nap and then I get sucked into TikTok and then I don't take a nap and I'm just like, oh, what the hell? Because like, I want to go back to the gym. Like I want to make sure that I'm still like being being active, but like by the time I'm done with work, I'm just so freaking tired. I just want to lay and it's not like I do anything strenuous. Like look at me right now. I'm not doing anything, but it's not like I can go to the gym while I'm working. Um, just in case like I have work to do, but yeah, it, that kind of sucks. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to go back to the gym soon. Um, maybe I'll try and go this weekend, even just like freaking taking a hop for a walk. But like I said, like when I'm just done with work, I just want to lay and like possibly take a nap, but then I get sucked into TikTok. But that's just like my life for like the past two and a half years. But yeah, that's it. That's all I got. It's a pretty uneventful pregnancy so far, which is like a blessing. I know it's a blessing. Um, so that's good. I don't have any cravings like I don't know if like I don't have continuous cravings like I have things that like sound good I want it like right now like um mango mochi ice cream so I did instacart today because I had like a $15 credit so I got that and then like salt and vinegar chips sounded really good Oop! so I got salt and vinegar chips too I really want sour skittles but apparently the grocery store that I did my instacart from they don't have sour skittles there so to go to a gas station to get those. <laughs> and they're actually building a gas station right around the corner from us. Um, so that's cool. Besides the point. It's probably not even going to be done by the time. Or maybe it will be done soon. I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point. But yeah. Uh, nothing else to really report on though. It's been a pretty easy pregnancy so far. Um, like I said, I'm very blessed. Because I know a lot of people do not have this kind of um, luck so that's good I haven't gained really any weight I think because uh, I've been waiting my I've been weighing myself at night which is literally like after I'm done eating like well do I keep sipping on our tail I'm so sorry I'm so sorry um I keep weighing myself at night um which is like obviously after I I'm eating all day and I have like a a bigger size dinner and I'm like 140 um, and when I start, when I got pregnant, I was around like 136, 137. So like, I really haven't gained any weight. If I did, it's probably only like a pound, pound and a half to two pounds. So it's really still good, which I'm grateful for because I figured that because I don't have any nausea, I'm going to gain a lot of weight in my first trimester. But, um, so far I haven't. So I'm thankful for that. But yeah, our baby is the size of a... A strawberry, I think. 
I don't know. I have a couple of apps that tell me different things. Um, what to expect uh, has a cool feature where you can click on it and I'll tell you like what else. Oh, okay. So according to um, uh, what to expect, the baby is the size of a prune, but it also is the size of the heart of the ocean, the blue um, from Titanic, like the little heart. And then also it's the uh, size of a Tootsie Pop. Um, yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. Like it kind of gives you like different comparisons. Um, and then what else do I have? I have Premom. I think they kind of tell, I don't know. I never really go on Premom. Because it, it kind of confuses me now. <laughs> uh, it says, no. They say that it's the size of a strawberry. But yeah. And I think maybe last week it was a cherry. I don't remember. But it's just crazy how quickly the baby grows from like the f week five to week ten, like five weeks ago it was the size of a chia seed and now it's the size of like a prune like that's mind-blowing that's insane so yeah I just feel like I am rambling at this point so I'm going to go and I will check in with you next week hopefully next week for my like weekly check-in I will know the sex of the gen or the sex of the, the sex of the baby the gender of the baby so we'll see. I'm so excited.